Hey everybody, it's your friendly neighborhood of Valence. Uh, sorry, pretty bad pun actually, but I've been stoked about Spider-Man. It's it's a great movie. Anyway, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get to the video. So today I wanted to talk about the werewolf with you guys. More importantly, the werewolf perk tree, some of the abilities and advantages to being a werewolf, and why people actually overlook them. So I have been doing a lot of Skyrim Dawnguard live streaming the last week, and I have thoroughly enjoyed the expansion. And for those of you who are veterans of this channel, you also know I am a diehard werewolf fan. I always have been. However, the werewolf perk tree adds that umph to the werewolf that we've been waiting for for a while, and really expands its abilities. So I wanted to go ahead and do a perk guide, plus talk about some of the new abilities, and more importantly, showcase some of the new abilities of the new werewolf perk tree because many of you guys haven't seen them and many people on my live stream said the same thing so i want to go ahead and throw a video together because i am a big fan of team jacob anyway i hate twilight don't quote me on that don't quote me on that <laughs> but anyway let's go ahead and hop into werewolf form here so the werewolf perk tree is available as soon as you go into beast form in the werewolf and it is shown by activating b now, it's B on the Xbox, whatever activates your skill menu, that's how you do it, okay? So don't get all nitpicky. So here we have the Werewolf Perk Tree, and you can see it's pretty extensive. Uh, now, the way to level up the Werewolf Perk Tree is actually by feeding on hearts from corpses. Now, this starts with humans, but there will be a way to feed on other creatures as well, such as deer, bear, spiders, undead, and a few other things. But we'll talk about that when we go into leveling up the Werewolf Perk Tree. First of all, I wanted to go ahead and walk through the skills, just read them off to you and give you a little explanation of what each is, and then we'll go ahead and dive into some more specifics. So to start off on the Werewolf Perk Tree, you have Bestial Strength. Bestial Strength is a 4-point perk. Each perk point increases the damage you do as a Werewolf by 25%, stacking up to 100%, so you will essentially double your damage as a Werewolf. Extremely awesome, especially on some of those higher level mobs. Next, you have Animal Vigor, which is a 100% bonus to health and stamina in Beast form. This is a much-needed buff for those of you who use Werewolf form on the higher levels, I would say 40 or 50 plus, because it does increase your health pool and increases your stamina pool, allowing you to last much, much longer. Next, you have Gorging. Now, Gorging lets Feeding heal twice as much health. Normally, Feeding would heal about 50 health points, but now... Feeding will actually heal 100. Uh, so this is phenomenal. It's great for staying alive. And again, it's one of those more balancing perks that we really needed to see with the werewolf itself. Next, you have Savage Feeding. Now, this is a really cool perk, and honestly, probably one of my favorites in the tree. You're able to feed off most dead creatures. Uh, feeding off these creatures instead of people only provides half the extended bloodlust time, but it still gives you the same health bonus and still gives you that heart feed when you're leveling up the perk tree. So essentially, this is an amazing perk. Next, we're going to go ahead and go up here. Now, these are the totem-specific werewolf perks. Now, for those of you who are like totems, what do totems mean? After you complete the Companions Guild questline and become the Harbringer of the Companions, if you decide to stay a werewolf, you can go to Ayala and talk to her for specific totem quests. These totems will change your howl into something more suited for your situation. There's three separate ones that you can collect, and... They're extremely important and honestly probably one of the biggest advantages to being a werewolf. So if you haven't done this, I highly suggest you do. Anyway, though, let's go ahead and into the perks for them. First, you have Totem of Terror. Now, the Totem of Terror simply increases the level that your Howl, like your howl, your howl of Terror affects. Now, the Howl of Terror is the basic ability that makes everyone run and flee from you, right? Now, when you get the Totem, it buffs it. And then with this perk, it also buffs it. So it just buffs a higher level Fear Runaway ability, really. Next, you have Totem of the Predator. The Werewolf Totem of the Hunt, which is one of the three Totems you will get, also now has extended range and shows whether targets are in combat, searching, or actively in combat. This is phenomenal for surveying your surroundings, and one of my favorite totems, to be personal. It's like a detect life spell, except it tells if people are in combat, if they're not in combat, who they're fighting, or if they're looking for you. So it's a great way to kind of be on the prowl and search as a werewolf. Next, you have the Totem of the Brotherhood upgrades. Totem of the Brotherhood starts out by summoning two wolves, right? These two wolves will follow you around and deal damage, and they last for about 60 seconds. Now, when you upgrade to the Totem of Ice Brothers, these regular wolves become Ice Wolves, which are obviously the more stronger form of the wolves themselves. Now, you can upgrade this further to be my favorite perk of the tree, 
Totem of the Moon. Now this Totem of the Brotherhood will summon two other werewolves, spiritual werewolves, that will fight for you. These werewolves have all the same abilities you do, can knock down enemies, and frankly make the werewolf one of my favorite pieces in this whole this whole game. I just I love it. Being able to do this helps me fight those big things like Cintrons, dragons. I it just it's amazing. It's one of the most amazing things. And we'll showcase that a little bit more in the video. So now that we've walked through the perk tree, how do you level? Well, as I mentioned before, you level by feeding, right? And by feeding on hearts, more specifically. So obviously you want to level it up quicker by feeding on more things, because not everything in Skyrim is a human, right? So I recommend dropping one point in bestial strength, one in animal vigor, one in gorging, and one in savage feeding. The second you get savage feeding, you'll be feeding off of everything besides vampires, and these perk points will be flying through the roof. So it makes leveling a werewolf much, much, much better. And after you pick up savage feeding, you can come back down here and maximize the damage bonus, and then start going into the different totems. Whichever one you choose, but you'll get them pretty quickly, so rest assured. Anyway though, now that we've talked about the werewolf perk tree, the way to level it, I'm actually going to dive in and show you some of these totems to give you an idea of how awesome some of these abilities are. So, let's go ahead and start by doing the Totem of the Brotherhood. This is the one I currently have active on my werewolf, and it, it's extremely powerful. So the Totem of the Brotherhood turns your howl into a summon spell, which summons two other werewolves. Now you can see these werewolves are exactly the same as me, they're spirit spiritual werewolves they will sprint they will follow me they will also be able to do all the same attacks that I do and knock down enemies as well they are extremely powerful uh, overpowered in my opinion but I use them all the time so let's go ahead and check these out in a combat scenario hey everybody so now we're actually gonna show off the totem of the brotherhood now I tried to find a different variable combat scenario that we could kind of experiment with besides White Run, because everyone kills things in White Run. Um, however, this is kind of the best way to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and go Beast Form here. I am on Adept Difficulty, and we're going to go ahead and show you how amazing the Totem of the Brotherhood is to summon those extra werewolf pals. So when you go werewolf, everyone will start attacking you, and you summon your friends. Now these two werewolves will go to town. I'm going to go ahead and let them beat on some people here. You see they can knock them down, kill them quickly. These werewolves also have the exact same perks and buffs that you have in your werewolf tree. So if you have the increased damage, the increased stamina, and all of the other perks, you will be able to absolutely tear people a new one with all of these werewolf perks. Um, now, these brothers will follow you around. They will be able to be summoned numerous times. The cooldown is one minute, so 60 seconds. And you can see here, I'm just able to tear people apart. And they're up there just wrecking people and tearing them down as well. So, obviously these new uh, these new perks, this Totem of the Brothers, is just a phenomenal piece of work. Uh, they're great for, I mean, we just decimated. See, and they're, they'll run around, they'll sprint, they'll maul people down, they'll follow you and it will last for 60 seconds. And if they do run out, you are welcome to summon another pair. Now they do come in twos. You cannot summon them in other forms or anything like that. You can't summon 50 hundred of them. Uh, yes, I did just say 50 hundred. And 50 hundred would be phenomenal, would they not? But unfortunately, that's not how it works. Um, so they are extremely powerful, as you can tell, and a great addition to any werewolf. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and show off the other totem, the Totem of the Hunt, and I'll show you how that really improves combat awareness. So let's go ahead and hop to the Totem of the Hunter. Alright, and now we have the Totem of the Hunt. Now the Totem of the Hunt's really cool because it turns your Howl into kind of a Detect Life spell. So this fort up here has been taken over by Imperials, and I'm just going to kind of show you how it works. So you'll see that now I have the Roar. And there you go. The red means that they're in combat. The blue means that they are not do or excuse me. The blue means that they are actively searching, and the purple means that they do not see you. This is extremely useful as a werewolf if you want to plan your attacks. And a, a great totem all in general. Now for the last totem that I mentioned in the perk tree is the one that increases your howl of terror. 
I felt that this Howl of Terror was extremely simple and kind of not worth showing because it is the exact same thing that you would normally see, right? They just run and scream from you. And many of you guys already know what that totem is. So I just wanted to show off this kind of totem. Uh, they're really, really, really cool. Uh, I, I love how you have the different colors. Uh, now, do know that the colors are only available through the perk tree, right? So... Again, purple is that they're not, not attacking you, they're friendly. Um, blue is that they're actively searching for you. And red is that they are attacking you. So, it's really cool, really awesome. I love this, I, I love this, the whole Dawnguard expansion as far as the werewolf goes. Because it made the werewolf essentially so much better. So guys, this is going to conclude the video for my guide to being a werewolf in Dawnguard and the entire perk tree. I hope that it's kind of lulled your opinions on the werewolves, because I know many people are all, all over the Vampire Lord and having a Vampire Lord. Um, however, the werewolf do have some really cool and unique abilities as well. If you guys have any questions about the werewolf form or any of the perks or a leveling process for the werewolf that I did not clear up in this video, please feel free to leave a comment below. And I'll be more than happy to get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you guys so much, and remember to subscribe for more content, and also check me out on Twitch.tv for some amazing Skyrim live streams, or so my audience tells me. Have a good one, everybody. Abby out.